video, I will be assisting in the delivery of a very special car. And I will first openly admit this is not my car. I do not have this kind of throwaway money yet, but it's also not the last you'll see of the car. So look forward to seeing it more on the channel in the future. Either way, enjoy the process of going to the dealership and picking up this car. Really quick, be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I have some important updates and some big decisions I might be making. So make sure you wait to the end so you can hear that. Here's what you're first greeted with when you walk into the showroom floor. Bit of a spoiler what the car is going to be, but before we get to that, I'll go over some of the cars in here because there are some really interesting ones. Now, there's not that many GT cars because there's almost no allocations available and there's a really big shortage actually, which is unfortunate, but there are two really interesting cars that I did want to show. One of them being this 911 Sport Classic, which was a car I didn't know existed until I saw it here. And it is really, really beautiful in person. If you look at the interior, you'll notice some plaid trim, uh, very interesting choices. It is manual and it has essentially the 911 turbo drivetrain. So it's sort of like a manual 911 turbo, which is really, really cool, but comes at a big price tag. Both these cars are owned by Ray Katina himself. This is the 911 Speedster, another beautiful car, also only manual. Now in just a second here, I'm actually going to cut to the reveal. And I wish I revealed it in more of a dramatic way, but I got as much footage as I could. This is a 2022 Cayman GT4. It has a flat six and a six speed manual, and it is absolutely beautiful in person. Going forwards, this is going to be one of the best driver's cars ever. And it's really unfortunate because the Cayman is going electric after this and soon are many other cars and it's going to be cars like this that we're going to look back at and appreciate and i'm really excited to be able to showcase this car and hopefully get some driving footage in the future with only 400 miles the car isn't even broken in yet technically the proper mileage would be a thousand and then you can start to actually beat on it so here's just some mellow driving footage once the car is broken in though, I will be sure to get full sound clips of the entire 9,000 RPM. I am guarantee it'll sound beautiful, and hopefully this car will actually be on track at some point. For the rest of this, just enjoy some raw driving footage. And that actually wraps up the delivery. It's not much, mainly because the car isn't broken in yet and it's also cold out. The car's on summer tires, it's January here and it gets pretty cold. So by the time it's warmer out and summer comes, there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff to do with the car and I'll be sure to get some videos then. Other than that, the second half of this video, I'm gonna be talking about a lot of important topics with both my car and other cars. And I could use some feedback on some of these topics. So be sure to listen and share your opinion in the comments. Get excited for the future because uh, these are all potentially really big decisions I'm about to make. And I'm excited to be able to show it off on the channel. In one of my other videos about my complete build sheet on my car is actually my most viewed video to date. One of my biggest gripes about my splitter was the hardware. And I just recently reached out to Epsilon and I emailed them and said, hey, half my hardware has fallen out and the other half is glued in. Uh, the brackets shouldn't be aluminum because aluminum just strips way too easily. They should be stainless steel. And they responded pretty quickly saying that I probably got a, a defective batch and that they're gonna send me new hardware for free. So I wanted to put that out there uh, because uh, I was kind of hard on them at first. So we'll see when that comes in, but hopefully the, the hardware does hold up a lot better than the hardware I already have. Another big update coming is I'm looking to buy a project car and I don't want to scare anyone into thinking like I'm getting rid of Suki, which I don't think I've formally said before. The name of this car is Suki. Uh, named after Fast and Furious, whatever. 
uh, I'm looking for a project car because I'm pretty much maxed out on this platform. I already did full bolt-ons and pretty much everything else, even the body parts and arrows pretty much done. But the only other step beyond here would be to go to a bigger turbo, a fuel system, build the engine, build the trans, and I've gone over it before, but it just doesn't make sense on these platforms. So I'm looking else for something else I can pick up on the side. And I want something that is a different platform for once. I want something that is, has to be manual, but preferably not front wheel drive, preferably not a four cylinder, unless there's something really cool that comes up. I'm mainly looking for a V8, but again, I'm, I'm open to a lot of options. If you guys have any suggestions of something you want to see on the channel, let me know. I'm also going to make a confession right now. This is not my first car. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you may have assumed that my 10th gen is the uh, first car I've bought, but actually it was a 2004 Audi S4. It was Nagaro blue, manual. It's a beautiful, beautiful car. I loved it and <laughs> bought it for a couple of years ago for $1,100. This guy was asking two grand and I knew that it was way undervalued because Nagaro blue and the manual with 120,000 miles was, was very desirable. So I went out to go look at this car. It was leaking coolant and oil. Either way, guy didn't really know anything about the car, drove him down to $1,100 which gave us plenty of room to work with because the car really wasn't running right and it did have problems. But for 1100 bucks, you just couldn't go wrong. Bought the car, fixed the coolant, fixed the oil leak, and then it wasn't long before it was leaking more coolant and, or it was leaking oil again. And it got to the point where it just couldn't deal with it and I needed something more reliable, newer, hence what you see here. Uh, sold that car, made a profit actually, because I knew that that car was at a price point when I bought it that I couldn't have lost. So sold that. And ever since I sold that car, I've had this 4.2 liter size hole in my heart. And I need, I need a V8. I do. So I was looking to buy one of those, but the issue now is that they are all just clapped and mangled, destroyed. There's no good examples I can find out there anymore, which is really unfortunate. But if one of those do come up, there's a good chance I'm going to try to get a hold of it. I was also looking at K trucks. Uh, again, very uh, broad, uh, open search, but whatever comes up. I want something I can fix. Something that preferably has low miles and needs minor work uh, or, or some amount of work because I can be able to document it and I'm able to handle most jobs. But we'll see. Either way, potentially look forward to a project car coming to the channel. As you saw earlier, the GT4, I promise you it will be on the channel again. Right now it's getting PPF on the rest of the car because it only had it in the front and it's getting tints, some other minor stuff. Who knows, maybe even exhaust at some point. but I'm really excited to be able to showcase that car. And I have a few other friends who I was thinking about uh, meeting up with and bringing their cars on the channel. One of my friends bought an M340. Another one has an, a tuned M5. And I think these could all potentially be really cool cars to uh, introduce into the mix. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> I had an idea right now that I forgot to mention. And instead of a project, I wanted to consider the possibility of doing a K20 C4 swap in the Civic, uh, which is the 2.0 turbo from the Accord. And I know it's been done before and it's possible and you can use the same ECU and it's supposedly a relatively easy swap. So if you guys really wanna see a swap in the Civic, let me know because that could be another idea. Fucking love this car. <laughs> 